is unmistakable. Anywhere you go, you open the hood of a truck and you see a red engine, and you know that's a Cummins engine. Now the engine has always been the heart of it, and diesel for us, our biggest objective is making sure that those are the most efficient, lowest emissions products out there. All of our new engine platforms have had an extremely intense focus on efficiency. What we used to do in the 80s and the 90s and even the 2000s, which we thought was state of the art, you know, I look back in hindsight and it's hard to believe how far we've advanced in the efficiencies we've gained. We're hitting levels that I couldn't conceive of at a NOx perspective, and at the same time hitting thermal efficiency that we didn't think was possible in diesel engines. It's just the next evolution of something that we have been doing for 100 years, and specifically with our next 15 for the last 25 years. One of the great things about that product is it's one of the most efficient heavy-duty big bore engines in the market. So the reality is that translates into a more fuel efficient and a lower CO2 product day one. So with the next gen X15, this ability that we have to start from scratch and still live up to the expectations and the DNA of what the X15 is, it's almost like we're breaking physics because we have an ability to redesign our engine to make it more efficient than we ever have. To complement that though, thinking about the entire integrated powertrain, we can take it a step further. We've always had to integrate with transmissions, with drive lines, to spec the vehicle correctly, right, for the operation that it's going to do. The difference now is we are developing all that as a system. So the acquisition of Meritor has given Cummins access to axles, brakes, and drive lines that they didn't have before. And when you couple that with the partnership with the Eaton transmission, Cummins now has the ability to bring a full powertrain to the commercial vehicle market. For us, it's just a natural progression moving from making engines and designing engines to extending to the powertrain. When we're developing a full powertrain solution, it's important not only to meet regulations, but also to meet the needs of the customer and their business segments. So we stay close to the customers and we talk to them frequently about what their needs are so that we can combine those two requirements to bring the best powertrain to the market. All of that allows us to create a better experience for the driver, allows us to create lower CO2 emissions. That's helped us really get traction with OEMs in this next generation of products. We are a very successful company that has delivered innovation over many, many years, and this is not the time to stay stagnant. This is the time to continue to prove to the market and to the world that we are a company of innovators and we can continue to develop ever more efficient products. I've seen a lot of different trends and I've seen the industry lob onto one trend and think it was gonna be the answer for the future. And that one solution never ends up really being the single solution. And so as we embark upon zero emissions, we need to think about various solutions and how to get there. The X15N is the first of our products that we're gonna launch in the next three to five years that are part of our Helm portfolio. We're gonna have a line of products that are gonna work across many operating conditions according to what the different goals our customers have. It's not one single product that is gonna take them there. It's a variety of products as a portfolio and, uh, and that's what Helm represents. It's really the first in the industry platform that has been designed not as a compromise, but at the entitlement of what each fuel can deliver. This isn't simply a diesel conversion to other fuel types. We're only changing the components that come in contact with the fuel, but when we do, it is delivering the maximum performance, reliability, and efficiency for that fuel type. We designed so that those platforms would be capable across those fuel types from the beginning. This is not an add-on. So our speed to market with those alternatives is going to be much faster than anyone else. So now from a customer base, it gives you that confidence. Once you try one of our derivatives of our Helm platform, you almost feel like you already have an experience with all of them because all of them share the same DNA. 
So this really could be one of the key things that helps us move toward zero faster by having this integrated architecture, which allows us to get benefit today to customers and to the environment, but also provide a baseline or a foundation for us to move towards zero emissions in the future. Most of our customers like that because they depend on Cummins every day. So they trust what we're telling them. They trust the products that we develop. They trust that we'll be able to do this better than anyone else. When you're running a business in the trucking industry that drives on reliability and uptime, that's invaluable. And that's what our Helm platforms and fuel agnostic portfolio brings to the market.